We return now to Limestone Downs, one of Waikato's largest dry stock farms. In 2013, after several years of planning, the C. Alma Baker Trust that's responsible for the property decided to go ahead with a dairy conversion covering 20% of the Limestone Downs property. The process of creating the new dairy operation involved local iwi and consideration of environmental impacts from the beginning. The trust has got to go on for a long time. And with the scent beef, you struggle. Even a place like this where, you know, some years you don't make very much money. And so the trust, the directors, thought about the dairy thing and over the years it's been pretty steady. It takes a huge cost to set it up. It's probably around about seven and a half million that we've spent on it so far. But we've got to try and future-proof the income for the trust. The milking platform is about 350 hectares. And then we've got support stock, you know, heifers and stuff, so it's a wee bit more. But uh, this year we started off with 650 cows. We built up to, uh, ended up milking about 740. And hopefully next year we're going to go up to about 800. We're not going to rush it too much. For 700 years we've occupied the area, but we've seen changes in the use of the landscape. We became involved because of some of the ecology issues in relation to the development on the flats. We looked at it from a, a cultural uh, background and said, hey, this has been uh, the use of this water body uh, by Māori tangata whenua for mai ano for, for a long time. What effect will the dairy farm development have on our ability to further uh, you know, respond to changing climate conditions, um, whether or not we were in a position to gather healthy kai in the future? Um, so we took a fairly proactive role earlier on in the application um, to work with limestone uh, Alma Baker Trust in finding the best way forward. The RMA allows for a consultation process and the application was tested through the RMA requirements. We didn't waive any rights to stifle progress, we all understand what that is. Uh, what we did say to Alma Baker or the Limestone Downs Trust was uh, we have some concerns about what will happen here. So it was about understanding the application and once we got to that point where we understood entirely what the application involved we were able to then better work with limestone about mitigating some of the effects we thought may occur. Limestone have undertaken a, a quite a strong position on uh, preservation or preserving rather than curing. And, and that's the position Tangata Whenua want to see themselves in when they participate. I have an association with Limestone Downs Farm and the local Tangata Whenua Ngāti Tāhinga dating back to 2007. We're monitoring a number of water quality and biological parameters uh, throughout the catchment and we're also monitoring a control site. So this is a classic what I call backy study, so it's a before after control impact study. So we're also monitoring a stream on an associated uh, sheep farm as well as the stream and upstream of the dairy farm conversion and we're monitoring nutrients, bacteria levels, in-stream plant growth, uh, aquatic invertebrates and fish life including um, inanga spawning habitat. Through working with Limestone Downs and Ngāti Tahanga towards a stream agreement, I came to realise that the cultural indicators are very closely aligned with uh, our biological indicators, that is, if, if the biology of the stream is healthy, then the cultural values are healthy too. And I guess the most interesting bit of data we've obtained is that the E. coli levels in the Kawa stream have dropped considerably since most of the stream within the dairy conversion has been fenced off from stock, and that's in relation to the control site, which is the classic so sheep and beef farm, where E. coli bacterial exactly. levels are still quite high. The bacteria levels, the E. coli and Entrococca levels are, are quite low in the Kawa. They've jumped up considerably in the control stream. Limestone Downs is going to be fully compliant with the Fonterra Dairy Accord Directive and they're doing intensive nutrient budgeting with their fertiliser company. And we're going to be monitoring to see if that is in fact enough work to minimise nutrient, particularly nitrogen, nitrogen runoff into the Kawa stream. If it isn't, we uh, have provision and the um, farm is going to be um, looking towards um, additional mitigation, so using wetlands and a whole bunch of other um, 
measures if they're necessary to reduce those nitrogen inputs. It would have been Easter weekend of 2013. Came here, pretty much there was nothing here at the time. So we decided to do fences and raceways, part of the water system and purchase of the cows, equipment, employees, all that, all that sort of stuff. It was a new experience for me, definitely. Um, it's not something I've been heavily involved with that side of things. It's always just sort of been, you go to an established farm and you just sort of take over the reins from the last guy. But here it was sort of, yeah, from the ground up and, and making some big, big decisions that are going to be here for years to come was a definite, a definite challenge. A lot of uh, contouring, a hump and hollow, quite a section of the farm and regrassing. There was a lot of annual pasture put in, uh, which is now, you know, coming to the end of its uh, life, so doing another big regrassing this year. Yeah, there's everything from there, drainage to um, water to effluent irrigation system. Uh, reasonably heavy soils, uh, soil types here, so it got, got quite wet, hence why some of the hollows weren't uh, regrassed right up to them, so willow weed and that sort of thing has got established. And we got that um, tile area, uh, which was uh, new to me and I think new to quite a few farmers just about in the middle of carving. Yeah, that proved uh, quite a few management challenges there as to what to do with these animals. Um, but I think we got through that reasonably well. And then uh, just a few other things, uh, BBD turned up in the herd. Uh, so that was another challenge to find those cows and uh, deal with them. My personal production figures I had in mind, I think we will achieve. This year it should hopefully come out um, with about 180,000 solids. We're still just finishing off a bit of the development stage, got a bit of fencing, some of the ground is yet to be finished, uh, hump and hollowing, and uh, but as I say, quite a high percentage of the farm will be regrass in the autumn, um, probably more than most, uh, purely just to, to get these uh, pastures up to dairy standard. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.